Hey, what's up? It's Varex and welcome to this tutorial about editing my third intro template. So first of all, you have to download it from the internet. The link is in the description, so just download it. And you'll download a RAR file, then just extract it where you want. And you should end up with this folder over here. Just simply open it and firstly you have to go into the Simnema 40 file. Open it up and once it opens up, you should see the intro over here. So, and when you go to the object section, here's an object text called your name. So, simply replace the uh, text with your name. And here actually comes a part where you have to do something. As you can see, the text is inside the cubes right now. So, how to fix it? It's really simple. Just click on the text and you have to scale it down a bit. I'm gonna scale it to like 59 then I'm just gonna move a few frames to fix the letters position, move it up to center it in the middle and here it is, it's fixed alright so that's all you have to do in Cinema 4D here's the intro and how to render it just simply click on this icon go to save and here uh, click on these three dots Select the file location where you want Cinema 4D to render it and just name it however you, however you want and save it. I prefer saving it into folder because Cinema 4D is going to render a, an image sequence. So that's gonna be like 240 images. So if you save it to your desktop, that will be kinda messy. Alright, so once you save to your intro, just hit render, the middle icon, and once it's done, you can close Cinema 4D. Then open up After Effects and once it opens up you should see uh, these bars, colorful little, I don't know how to call it. And it's gonna tell you that one file is missing. It's okay, you're gonna uh, simply fix it just by following these steps. You have to search for your footage file over here, right click on it, go to replace footage and click on file and then search for the intro you've just rendered from Cinema 4D and simply import it as an image sequence so once you've imported it you should see your intro over here and it might actually tell you that some other files are missing and it's gonna probably be the flare file or particles and smoke file and you're gonna fix it the same way just click here on the int intro folder um, search up which file is missing right click on it go to replace footage and you're gonna find it uh, in the template folder folder in needed stuff here's the flare and here's particles and smoke alright so once it's done just right click on the render composition and no no uh, sorry a little fail just simply click on that then click on composition and then hit add to render queue or you can just simply press Control m on your keyboard so that's gonna add it to the rendering queue then you have to click on lossless and click ok you don't have to change anything over there and then click here and select um, where you want to save your intro so once you save it just hit render over here and wait for after effects to render your intro and that should be done. Uh, I forgot to mention that you're gonna need one plugin for this intro and that's Twitch. I'm gonna include links to download the plugin in the readme uh, uh, in the readme file over here or the link is in the description if you want. So once you rendered uh, the intro from After Effects the last thing you have to do is add the soundtrack which is over here I recommend adding it in Sony Vegas or any kind of editing program. Not in After Effects because when you render it out from After Effects it's gonna be kinda big file like one gigabyte or something. So yeah, edit in another program and you should be done with your intro. You can even add a color correction if you have Magic Bullet looks installed for anything. And if you have it you should know how to add the color color correction in your library section. Alright, that's all for this tutorial. 
I hope you guys like this video. Um, please enjoy my third intro template and I'll see you in the next video.